Hello and welcome back. Okay, House of Dragon is getting more interesting guys. I know we all have so many questions on absence of Lord Corleys in the House of the Dragon. Episode 8. Some of the questions may be. Is Corleys Valyrian a living thing? Will Corleys Valyrian return to House of Dragon? Where is the sea snake? Does Corleys survive? Well, let's not waste time and get back to discussion. It was clear that the sea snake was missing. This is why. Episode 8 of House of the Dragon noticeably lacks Corleys Valyrian. The sea snake is nowhere to be discovered. Even though the entire family has gathered around the table for one last meal with King Visaris I Targaryen, we receive a hazy justification for Corley's absence. He's been hurt in the Stepstones recently, and his wife Rhaenys hasn't seen him in six years. There is a grave wound. Within the first ten minutes of episode eight, we learn this knowledge, and it isn't brought up again. Significant interpersonal conflict results from Corley's sabbatical from his responsibilities as the master of Driftmark and the Lord of the Tides. If Corley's were to pass away from his wound, his brother Sir Veman Valerian requests that he be declared the heir of Driftmark. Rhaenys tells Veman in a frustrated tone that Corley's wants her second child, Lucerys Valerian, to succeed her as the master of Driftmark, and by extension, so does her son Lener. However, Veemond is sure that it be him because it is known that Rhaenyra and Lena are the parents of Rhaenyra's three boys. You already know what happens to Veemond if you've seen episode 8 of House of the Dragon. However, you could still be unsure of where Corlys is. Where is the sea snake? To understand the cause of his disappearance, we must clarify exactly what transpired between Rhaenys Targaryen and Corlys Valerian. The status of the couple's relationship is unclear, although contextual cues from House of the Dragon episodes 7 and 8 clearly imply that even if they are still legally married, they are estranged and have been apart for at least six years. The murder of Lena Valerian, who was probably still alive and hiding in Essos with Sir Carl Corey, shortly after the death of Lena Valerian, caused an irreparable split between Rhaenys and Corlys. Corlys was committed to maintaining the Valyrian-Targaryen dynasty's hold on the Iron Throne, as well as maintaining control over Driftmark and acquiring wealth through conquest and maritime trade. As a reminder, Harwin Strong secretly fathered Rhaenyra's first three boys. Rhaenys, on the other hand, was certain that Daemon and Rhaenyra had ordered the murder of Lena and that her grandchildren weren't real Valyrians. While Corlys was not hiding the fact that Jacqueries, Lucerys, and Joffrey were his grandchildren, he also wasn't going to forsake them because he knew Lena loved Rhaenyra's sons as if they were her own. Prequel Novels by George R. R. Martin Corlys spends the most of these years exploring in the books, the major ports of Westeros and Essos, as well as the Summer Isles and the Thousand Islands in the Shivering Sea beyond the Wall are just a few of the places he travels to in the series. He also visits practically all of the other locations that are mentioned. It's possible that Corlys is recovering almost any place in the world. One of HBO's upcoming Game of Thrones spin-offs, The Sea Snake, may chronicle some of this time spent apart from Rhaenys. Can we expect Corlys Valyrian to return to House of Dragon? By Episode 9, it's likely that the Sea Snake will return to House of the Dragon. It makes sense to think that he will heal in the show as well because in the novels, he gets better right before Aegon II and Rhaenyra Targaryen's battle begins. Corlys, who briefly served as Rhaenyra's hand during her contentious rule, is a key character throughout the Dance of the Dragons. Corlys never wavers in his intense loyalty to his family, especially to his grandchildren. He works to maintain good relations between the Targaryens and Valyrians after Viserys passing. His intentions are good, even though his efforts aren't always successful. That will become increasingly rare in the future. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos.